Hello and uh, a warm welcome to you. I'm Neil Pinkett, the proprietor of Bath Cars and today's car is the Subaru Forester. This is a 2 litre turbo, uh, 170 odd brake I think these are, 177 bhp, somewhere around that area. Uh, metallic silver with a black leather interior is the Auto XT model, so four wheel drive estate vehicle, nice high ground clearance with a nice decent power plant, uh, four cylinder boxer style engine. And this one's got the all-weather pack, which gives it the heated seats and the headlight wash. Also a lovely big glass uh, sliding sunroof. Usual specification includes uh, the alloys, which are they're not that big actually. I think they're 16s, if I'm not mistaken. Let's just check. Uh, yeah, 16-inch wheels, but they are on these bigger, higher profile tyres. 215 60R16s. Uh, uh, so decent sized tyres and the... Tax is valid until the end of 2013 09. So 30th 09 2013. £270 was the tax bracket for that car, which isn't too bad actually for one of these. It could be worse. That, for example, is 470 So this isn't too bad. Um, looking around the car, we've got a few minor marks, little tiny dimple dent just above the rear wheel arch there. <clears throat> the alloys are in good order. We'll go around the tyres. Little scuff to the bumper just at the bottom there. There are parking sensors. I don't know if they work actually. I'll check that in when we get inside. It has got a single electrics tow bar. The brakes, the exhaust, the engine, the transmission, all working well. And this side all looks pretty good. And just walking along the side, a little mark to the door. Might polish out. It looks like a bit of a paint defect. And um, although it's a pretty windy, blustery day here. We fitted new number plates on it, a little bit of touch-up required on the scuff to the bumper and a few little marks to the bonnet, so the bonnet's got a few little sort of uh, polishable marks on it but most of this actually is just where the debris come off the trees because it's quite a windy day. There is the smallest little chip in the screen, it's not anywhere near 10mm so it would never fail the MOT, it is tough. it's not even worth filling actually because if you crack the screen if you drill into it so we'll leave that alone. Um, Right, so uh, all the documents in the history will come a bit later on. We'll run around the tyres first of all. So uh, let's just um, lock the steering across. So she starts on the button, there's a lovely good battery on it, which has been replaced at some point as well. The engine sounds beautiful. Uh, it's last service at 93k. So those tyres there, have plenty of meat to go on them. So, and there's all good equal wear across it. Moving on to this one here. Nice equal wear and uh, good looking tyre. They aren't, uh, they are Marshalls which are fairly okay. This one here at the back, well it's not new and it's about, it's a bit worse than half worn. I'd say it's about 40% to go on that one. And uh, this one here, last but not least, yeah a bit better than half worn actually. I would say that one's about, yeah, bang on half worn. Locking wheel nuts and we can see we just had new discs on the back of here. That is a nice fresh piece of metal and uh, those pads have been new as well. The front, little ridge to the front, you're going to need to do some discs at some point in the future but they're not uh, a problem at the moment. Um, so four wheel drive vehicle, I think these are, are running an asymmetric clutch so they're generally driving on the front but uh, backs kick in if, it's slip, if they're slip but don't quote me on that, I'm not, uh, not certain. I've had a fair few of these actually over the years. Uh, a few legacies recently as well and the autos are quite nice actually because you don't get that really stiff clutch that you get with uh, some of the Subarus which um, can be a pain so a nice easy to drive automatic beautiful for towing so if you're a caravaner or you need to trailer a boat about or something a lovely uh, towing vehicle is spot on with one of these so in the back there is the original Forester carpet mats which we've had all nice and clean so they're in lovely nick and there is a Forester bespoke luggage mat in the boot is a what looks like a brand new spare actually in fact um, a 215 60R yep so you've got a brand new spare in the boot of that car which is always a nice thing to see the tool kit's present the locking wheel nut is present and their original number plates are in the boot as well to uh, put on your trailer when you uh, go to tow the luggage cover present and correct and there's a power supply and some hooks and things just as you normally get on a vehicle like this. So I'll tell you what, let's go and have a look at the history. 
So we're moving into the back of the car then we've got uh, nice clean door cards actually. The back of the seats are in nice order with um, map pockets. The original carpets are in excellent order. The seats are looking very nice and shiny. I have this car fully balloted. It smells pleasant in here as well. And there are three inertia reel safety belts. And uh, there should be another safety belt about through this one somewhere up in the roof lining there. Yeah, I can just like feel it. I can pull that out. There you go. So that's your that's your third safety belt, which uh, is mounted in the roof. Sorry about the radio being on. I'll turn that off in a second. Uh, how's that go? Gives it there. That's it. I'll leave that there. So three and a half belts. Lovely hi-fi system. Uh, the roof lining is excellent order. Door cards are excellent as well. Moving up front then. So four electric windows. Electric mirror operation. Turn the radio down, which is a CD player. There is cruise control on the steering wheel. The heat is blowing nice and hot. Cubby storage, digital clock, owner's manuals, all in there. Very nice indeed. There we go. Okay. And uh, the locking wheel is actually in the glove compartment there. Not sure what that is. That's a unit relay. I think there was a pill for about a relay somewhere. Cup holder, nicely done. Not quite as good as the Saab, but pretty much not sorry the Saab cup holder to me is probably the best but uh, <laughs> that isn't too bad an attempt from Subaru four marks so sunroof electric power steering leather steering wheel really nice condition actually she's in very good order up front the, dry, the passenger seat and the seats are all in excellent condition captain's chairs etc the auto box a four speed with hold on the auto cruise control adjustment Alarm system, Sigma alarm is standard. Aircon blows lovely and cold as well, so you'd be pleased to know for the summer months. Um, just check the sunroof works. I haven't actually checked that yet. There we go. Thought it would be. Okay, so that's fine. So all in all, yes, yeah, probably one of the, uh, the better made estate cars. Uh, Subaru reliability, good engines. But uh, you make your mind up on it then. And... Uh, You've just got to pick the phone up, make an appointment to come and see me. Thanks for watching. Speak to you soon. Bye-bye. Okay, uh, welcome to the uh, history and documents then for the Subaru Forester. Uh, showing as a 2-litre XT model. Uh, so it's a turbo auto petrol car, 230 grams per kilometre. Uh, what's the colour? colour is silver. Uh, petrol estate car. Uh, last change of ownership was back in uh, August 2011. Um, and the car has had uh, five former keepers, so that was the six. So it's been through a few hands. Um, probably maybe a uh, sort of um, family-owned vehicle or something like that. I mean, I'm just guessing. But uh, that uh, that is all in uh, good order. V5 and then HPI checked says that the car is um, all free of adverse history, etc. And it has been subject to a private plate transfer it had uh, s1 not which was the initials of the um well pretty much a the name of the guy who had it before so that's all okay uh, so it's not uh, any outstanding finance or anything like that the mot certificate um shows it's mot until the 14th of august 2013 it had one advisory notice which was a uh, near side front tire wearing low on the inner edge um, so we'll check that and um, also it'll have a new MOT if it's within one month but um, you know if it's a worry for you uh, we'll put a new ticket on it anyway just all depends on the deal you're after the service history book is nicely stamped up uh, with plenty of service stamps so it's had uh, Bell and Colville which is the main Subaru dealer in Surrey stamped there at 750 miles then again at 10,000 then again at 19 then again at 29, then again at 35, and then again at 54. And that was all done at the same garage, so it's probably likely it was the same owner right the way up to then. The cam belt was replaced as well. Um, I think we've got 66,000 written there, so maybe it was done at 55 or 66,000. Um, next service was at uh, a local garage in Bristol, 64K. Then Tilly's, which is the main Subaru agent, at 78,000 miles. Uh, Autotech at 85 and then recently serviced at 93 in August 2012 so a lovely service book we do have two keys that's the spare and we do have the other one there are a nice little uh, selection of um, previous old MOTs dating back to 2008 
And then some bills and receipts, which we've got. I'll just quickly run through them. Uh, that's £135. That's Knox Sensor and Reset ECU. Uh, supply and fit new alarm circuit board and reprogram the key. And there's an MOT. Driver's side front window stuck open. Stripped to motor. Find the motor seized. Managed to shut window for a temporary fix. New motor is required, so the new motor's probably been done. £17, that was. Um, near side front wheel bearing kit, £90. Uh, near side wheel bearing, wheel bearing kit, £193. New near side... Uh, that was, uh, the near side wheel bearings have been done. That was a number plate and an MOT, 64 quid. That's a, f uh, a new key, £204. Uh, and alarm, ignition key solution, ignition alarm, yep, 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 yep. Uh, £28, that was p part of the same thing, which is coding the key. Uh, this is a biggish bill, it was Mr. Sinop, so it's been in the last couple of years, dated, uh, uh, well, eight red, uh, mileage was 85k, so that's the stamp in the book, £373. Screen wash, oil filter, fuel filter, air filter, wiper blades, anti roll bar link, anti roll bar link times two, near side and off side. Uh, pollen filter and uh, replace I see adjust and tighten alternator belt and power steering belt so uh, 373 pounds spent there I think I believe that's probably uh, where is this auto tech yeah in uh, Sherbourne near Dorset uh, and then another one here actually that's 373.43 that's just a duplicate then of the same uh, receipt 802009, yeah, that's the same one. Uh, 156 pounds, replace the battery, then 87,000 miles, dated uh, 2011. So it's had a new battery on it fairly recently. Um, and uh, rectify wind noise from glass. And this is 167 pounds at Tilly's, uh, sensor assembly knock. So uh, key solution ignition, 167. So few bills there, nicely stamped up book, two keys, probably a new MOT, but do ask me about that first of all. So there we go, back to the car. Hello and a warm welcome to you. I'm Neil Pinkett, the proprietor of Bath Cars, and today's car is the Subaru Forester. This is a 2 litre turbo, uh, 170 odd brake I think, these are 177 bhp, somewhere around that area. Uh, Metallic silver with a black leather interior is the Auto XT model. So four-wheel drive estate vehicle, nice high ground clearance with a nice decent power plant, uh, four-cylinder boxer style engine. And this one's got the all-weather pack which gives it the heated seats and the headlight wash. Also a lovely big glass uh, sliding sunroof. Usual specification includes uh, the alloys, which are oh, not that big actually, I think they're 16s if I'm not mistaken. Let's just check. Uh, yeah, 16 inch wheels, but they are on these bigger, higher profile tyres, 215 60R16s. Uh, uh, so, decent sized tyres, and the tax is valid until the end of 2013 09. So, 30th 09 2013. £270 was the tax bracket for that car, which isn't too bad actually for one of these. It could be worse. That, for example, is 470 So. This isn't too bad. Um, looking around the car, we've got a few minor marks. Little tiny dimple dent just above the rear wheel arch there. <clears throat> the alloys are in good order. We'll go around the tyres. Little scuff to the bumper just at the bottom there. There are parking sensors. I don't know if they work, actually. I'll check that in when we get inside. It has got a single electrics tow bar. The brakes, the exhaust, the engine, the transmission, all working well. And this side all looks pretty good. And... Just walking along the side, a little mark to the door, might polish out, it looks like a bit of a paint defect. And um, although it's a pretty windy, blustery day here, we fitted new number plates on it, a little bit of touch up required on the scuff to the bumper, and a few little marks to the bonnet, so the bonnet's got a few little sort of uh, polishable marks on it, but most of this actually is just where the debris come off the trees, because it's quite a windy day. There is the smallest little chip in the screen, it's not anywhere near 10 mil, so it would never fail the MOT. It is it's not even worth filling actually because if you crack the screen if you drill into it, so we'll leave that alone. Um, right, so uh, all the documents in the history will come a bit later on. We'll run around the tyres first of all, so uh, let's just um, lock the steering across. 
So she starts on the button, there's a lovely good battery on it which has been replaced at some point as well. The engine sounds beautiful, uh, it's last service at 93k, so those tyres there, plenty of meat to go on them, So, and there's all good equal wear across it. Moving on to this one here, nice equal wear and uh, good looking tyre. They aren't, uh, they are Marshalls which are fairly okay. This one here at the back, well it's not new and it's about, it's a bit worse than half worn, I'd say it's about 40% to go on that one. And uh, this one here, last but not least, yeah, a bit better than half worn actually. I would say that one's about, yeah, bang on half worn. Locking wheel nuts, and we can see we just had new discs put on the back of here. That is a nice fresh piece of metal, and uh, those pads have been new as well. The front, little ridge to the front, you're going to need to do some discs at some point in the future, but they're not uh, a problem at the moment. Um, so four wheel drive vehicle, I think these are, are running an asymmetric clutch, so they're generally driving on the fronts, but uh, backs kick in if, it's sli if they're slit, but don't quote me on that, I'm not, uh, not certain. I've had a fair few of these actually over the years, uh, a few legacies recently as well. And the autos are quite nice actually, because you don't get that really stiff clutch that you get with uh, some of the Subarus, which um, can be a pain. So a nice, easy to drive automatic, beautiful for towing, so if you're a caravaner, or you need to trailer a boat about or something, a lovely uh, towing vehicle is spot on with one of these. So in the back there is the original Forester carpet mats, which we've had all nice and clean, so they're in lovely nick. And there is a Forester bespoke luggage mat. In the boot is a, what looks like a brand new spare actually in fact, um, a 215 60R. Yep, so you've got a brand new spare in the boot of that car, which is always a nice thing to see. The torque kit's present, the locking wheel nut is present, and there are the original number plates are in the boot as well to uh, put on your trailer when you uh, go to tow. The luggage cover, present and correct, and there's a power supply and some hooks and things, just as you normally get on a vehicle like this. So, I'll tell you what, let's go and have a look at the history. So moving into the back of the car then, we've got uh, nice clean door cards actually. The back of the seats are in nice order with um, map pockets. The original carpets are in excellent order. The seats are looking very nice and shiny. I've had this car fully valeted. It smells pleasant in here as well. And there are three inertia real safety belts. And uh, should be another safety belt about through this one somewhere up in the roof lining there. Mixed yeah, I can just like feel it, I can pull that out, there you go, so that's your, that's your third safety belt, which uh, is mounted in the roof, sorry about the radio being on, I'll turn that off in a second, uh, how's that go, Goes in there, that's it. I'll leave that there, so three inch rear belts, lovely hi-fi system, uh, the roof lining is excellent order, dual cards are excellent as well. Moving up front then, so four electric windows, electric mirror operation, turn the radio down, which is a CD player. There is cruise control on the steering wheel, the heat is blowing nice and hot. Cubby storage, digital clock, owner's manuals, all in there, very nice indeed. There we go, okay, and uh, the locking wheel is actually in the glove compartment there. Not sure what that is, that's a unit relay, I think there was a pill for about a relay somewhere. Cup holder. Nicely done, not quite as good as the Saab, but pretty much. Not Sorry, the Saab cup holder to me is probably the best, but uh, <laughs> that isn't too bad an attempt from Subaru. Four marks, so sunroof, electric, power steering, leather steering wheel. Really nice condition, actually. She's in very good order up front. The passenger seat and the seats are all in excellent condition. Captain's chairs etc. The auto box at full speed with hold on the auto, cruise control, adjustment, alarm system, Sigma alarm is standard. Aircon blows lovely and cold as well so you'd be pleased to know for the summer months. Um, just check the sunroof works, I haven't actually checked that yet. There we go, thought it would be. Okay so that's fine. So all in all yes, probably one of the, uh, the better made estate cars. Uh, Subaru reliability, good engines, but uh, you make your mind up on it then, and uh, you've just got to pick the phone up, make an appointment to come and see me. Thanks for watching, speak to you soon, bye bye.